We don't have anyone in London right now. A bad time not to have anyone in London. 25 of their sailors get killed because Iran wants to send me a message. The president is asking you to serve as ambassador to the United Kingdom. We have a plane waiting. We'd like you to get on it. There are two kinds of ambassadors. There are those who are what are called political ambassadors, and they go to beautiful places like London and Paris and Rome. And then there are people who are career foreign service officers who go to Afghanistan and Beirut and crisis zones. And Kate's one of those people. Kate is definitely a reluctant volunteer. She is plucked from doing what she deems is important work and placed in London, which tends to be more about dinner parties and the pageantry. Jesus Christ. She doesn't like that stuff. She's not suited for that stuff. She doesn't have any experience with it. It's also the first time that she and her husband have gone to a place where she's the one sort of out in front and in the spotlight and he's in the back seat. Her husband was a kind of big shot ambassador, but also a liability. And he comes along to help. You're here to patch things up with the Brits, so you gotta keep the focus tight. I'm not doing this the way you would. Well, that's fine, just don't do it wrong. The Diplomat is a show about long-term relationships, about marriages between people and marriages between countries. And it's hard to keep that going for a long time. It might be dangerous to be America's enemy, but to be its friend is fatal. Within this political landscape, what the creators have done really well is write some really interesting relational drama. You think they'll say that I poisoned him? You didn't, did you? Did you? Not my style. We gotta get you to your speech. Kill it. I hate speeches. The job is like 80% speeches. Because of the way the script moves, because of the relationships, because of the dynamics, it's something that I think is very compelling. We are talking to every intelligence service on the map. We'll figure out who did it. I think what makes this show special is these are big personalities, so I, I'm excited for the audience to get to know the people behind the political machine. There's a lot going on in this world. We have an incredible ensemble. We have a whole cast of people who are just shockingly versatile and playful. Welcome. Sir, it's an honor to meet you. Ah, honor to be met. Rory Kinnear is just a powerhouse and, like so much of our cast, able to play drama and comedy in the same moment. The Russians blew up our warship. We need to bomb something that smells like herring. Mm -hmm. And Michael McKean is obviously a comedy god and also an incredible dramatic actor. And this is a role where he can bring it all to the table in a way that's so satisfying. An attack on one is an attack on all. One just got attacked. You're scared your enemies think you're too old and frail to put Americans in the line of fire. Do people like you? The world is real, but it's all the stupid, immature things that happen within the world. I can't think straight. If you are within a hundred mile radius, I am begging you, go. Hopefully this is a funny and moving depiction of a marriage and an alliance with a bunch of people who are infuriating and irresistible at the same time. Katie, the vice president is gonna resign and they want you to replace her. I am not cut out for this. Someone should wash her, she looks ridiculous.